Hello everyone, Squee here with Piff. Did you know I'm also here? I'm not one of those celebrities, but I have some pretty hair. <laughs> <laughs> All of this is true. Welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 7 Week 8 Episode Douse! Which is two. Just for those of you who don't speak the Spanglish. Uh... <laughs> First up, we've got Earth Defenders versus the Boos. Now, Earth Defenders are at the bottom of their division at one and six. The Boos are uh, sitting at, let's see, not quite at the top of their division in East Kai. They're at four and three. Both these teams have a lot to fight for. Um, the Boos are locked in a, a tie for second place with the Rugrats and behind the Gohans. They want some wins to try and start catching up and have a chance of playing for that top seeded spot. Earth Defenders, on the other hand, at 1 and 6, are struggling just to survive. They need to start getting some wins into their belt or they are not going to be making it to the playoffs at all. So, uh, the Earth Defenders desperately trying to see a victory here over the Boos. Let's do this. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let me look at the lineup of booze. You can start the match, by the way. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just eyeing this over. Uh -huh. It looks like the booze have Vegeta in there, and that's not a boo. So I'm gonna disqualify them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to match four. <laughs> Don't worry, TM. I can I do it. I have the power of doing that, I guess. Wait. The Earth defenders have tried a cunning strategy to win this week. Which is basically putting a bunch of people in different costumes. Oh yeah, it's, they're gonna be colorful this week. It's gonna be great. Ooh, ooh nice victory for Boo early on. Oh, Eight thousand points my of damage. God. Jeez. Hold on, give me a second. What what does he have? Kid ah. Boo, attack plus two, serious quick fast attack combo master. That's not Dragon even Power. with the thing. That's not even with the thing that allows him to do more damage. When pinging people around, that's what I thought he had, but he doesn't. Nope, but attack this plus two. really hard. Yeah. Holy piss. Oh my god, poor Chaozu. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but why though? <laughs> Look at that charge rate. He's just going to town. <laughs> Go, oh, Chaozu, explode on him. Go for it. Go, Chaozu, explode on him. Come on, if you can take Kid Buu out with your death, just imagine, <laughs> Chaozu. Just imagine. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Explode, Chaozu! Explode! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Do it! No! Uh, Why? Chaozu's... Chaozu, that would have been amazing. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh, wow! Oh, what a a brilliant first bout, I will say. And in comes Mid Goku, still toting that melee build, which has really not been working for him lately. He's he does some decent damage. He is doing boo damage at this point. He is. He is doing decent damage, but he, he is not the Goku we have seen in the past seasons. Now I know that uh, the the Earth Defenders have had trouble getting him to throw out his ultimates like he used to. Um, I, they're having a lot of trouble with him right now. They're having a lot of trouble getting him just to be uh what anywhere close to what he used to be. It, I I think they they saw uh, maybe a week or two of him not doing so well. I've I've been there. I've been a coach. Yeah. That's been in the same situation. You have to trust the overall numbers. You you can't just see you can't see some fluke oh, weeks. And I'm just, just saying for the season overall, Mid Goku has just been struggling. And well, this is I, another week where that's exactly the case. I I think it's because of the change of build. That's 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 my particular philosophy. Hmm. I, I think the old one worked really well. It might have not done exactly what they wanted a few weeks, and then they dropped it for something that I don't feel is good. It's it's not like the contender that we saw before. It's not it's not the pinch hitter that that we've right. seen. Yeah, Mid Goku used to have the ability to come out there and destroy people in 15, 20 seconds, and um, he may not have been doing that for a few weeks. True, but now he doesn't even have the ability to do that with this new build. And as you can see, I mean, the past several weeks that he's been on this melee build, he's just 
been underperforming. 19, though. 19 being surprisingly good. He's been one oh, of yeah. the bright spots for the Earth Defenders this season. Absolutely. Um, I I know that um, Team Derp had a hard time um, getting a solid build for him because of how slow he's been. Mm. Um, as well as the, the the times where he wants to grab, there's a long windup, especially in comparison to like Jero, which actually kind of just kind of lunges out. This one has like a long kind of like on back, on forward sort of thing. Um, it really has to set up the grab. Um, so it's it's been really interesting to see um, another team try to use him. He's he's good on paper, but in practice, it's really hard. It's, it's the same thing with Tom. He seems kind of bad on paper, like his damage is not that great. Um, he's got a few uh, lighter points of actually like having low cost abilities, but yeah, it, he's not. He doesn't shine on stats, but how he uses them is what makes him great. Man, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to see here. Um, I just. I feel bad for the Earth Defenders, but I mean they're going up against a team that's just a very powerful team. And uh, they've already lost Chaozu and Mid Goku. I don't think they have a great chance. Oh now, Tien, my god. Let's do fine. this, Tien. Fucking do it, Tien. <laughs> you gotta do. You have to do this for your fans, Tien. You have the HP. You have a dude that has a good amount of HP. You're about to lose all of that. Tien, no. <laughs> I speak Clash. See, this is what I don't understand. I don't understand, like, because we know that Tien. Oh my god, here it comes! Is he gonna do it? One, two... That's the most you'll ever get out of him. <laughs> See, we know Tien's uh, ultimate is horrible, and he never uses it properly. He hasn't used it properly in six seasons. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, so, so, and, and, and the Earth Defenders, you're putting Savior on Tien and not Savior on Goku. I just... I don't understand that. <laughs> Even if you want to give Goku a melee build, at least give him Savior so he might be able to pop out and throw off an ultimate and connect with it, but Tien's never used his ultimate well. Not since season two, maybe once in three, but you're lucky if you get two Neo Tri-Beams out of him. Maybe they're just gunning for his, um, for his, his B2s. And for that, I would say there is actually a Patara that'll help you out with that. There's one that specifically allows you to have full energy, but not, like, the blue stuff. And you can have him out as your first guy. You'll have a leg up on the person that's already out at the beginning. Oh, you mean like the Kabito Secret Art? Um, no, no. Oh, you mean Rising Finding Spirit? No. Wait, which, what? It's it's the one that allows you to um, have full, like, five bars as the first person that comes out. Yeah, Rising Finding Spirit. Is that it? Yep, Rising right. Finding Spirit lets you have full key. And for Tien, don't get me wrong, Tien's doing a great job. Uh, and he's got a nice defense build. I think a defense build is always a nice thing to have on, uh, on Tien. Well, he's actually, he's not really a defense build, is he? He's got Dende's healing, that's about it. He's more of a... Oh no! We lost Piff! Uh-oh. Hang on. Okay, minor hiccup. We're back now. Back to the action. Oh yeah. This is no, it. This is the moment where it's all gonna turn around. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment. Uh, well, uh, God, uh, close one, Tien. Tien. Close. This is one. it. With Tien and 19 are gonna take this back for the Earth Defenders. And, and you can see it happening. You can see Tien getting pumped up. <laughs> I speak Clash. Sandwich For the love of God, man! Ta oh, all right, fine. <laughs> yeah, you Just better take a lot of energy if you plan on winning this. Nicely done. Oh, okay, he actually dodged. That was a concern that you go back in the blast. <laughs> yeah, nicely done, nineteen. And he's got a, a, a huge uh, tower to still climb, but if he did a lot of grabs, if he was okay, we've seen Android twenty be good enough to win something like this. Yes. If 19 could do it, though he doesn't seem to be interested in grabbing or no, fighting. No, the shiny thing over there. <laughs> <laughs> Much of anything at the moment. 
Thanks for the different camera angles, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you get over there so fast? It's too trendy. <laughs> Steve, the strongest of all. He blocked it! Wow, impressive. He needs to grab or not. He's got this. All right, then. Well, <laughs> the booze with uh, a devastating win over Ooh. the Earth Defenders. The Earth Defenders falling to one in seven. The booze rising up to five and three. All right. Next match, we've got the Gohans versus the Blades. A divisional matchup in which I believe the blades are like pulling out all the stops. I think um, I think this is the one where like every member of the blades had a boost store item. I could Maybe. Be wrong, but um, but it's the Gohans at six and one at the top of their division. The blades at two and five at the bottom of their division. The blades, much like the Earth Defenders, are in a position where they need to start winning. They need to start winning a lot if they want to even make it to the uh, playoffs. And just think, I mean, how great of a morale boost is it for the bottom of your division to take down the the, the throne, you know what I mean? Take, mm. take a notch off the uh, top team. It'd be a huge, huge win for the Blades if they can do this. The Gohans versus the Blades starting now. It looks like both teams have actually really try to guide their teams to victory. They they did not pull out any of their, their top players for this particular match. They, they're they pretty much full throttle on both sides. Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh, let you me say, phrase that. The Blades didn't post a build this week, so this is all randomized. <laughs> what? Yeah. They look good, though. No, all randomized. Boy. From what? I forgot about that. Yeah, not. I don't think they have. In, do they have any boost stores on them? Or I must have been. I must have been thinking of another team. Yeah, there's a. I don't. I don't. It doesn't mark it down. But it's. It's a divisional match. Yeah. And it. No, I'm serious. I'm looking at this, and they actually look like they have pretty good builds on. I, Randomized. Well, seriously. I believe. I believe the builds are like just kept the same from last week's. Uh, oh, okay. It's the lineup that's randomized. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not like they completely made new, uh, like randomly put this build or that build on them. But, but everything I said about the Blades really wanting to win this match and putting boost doors, that must be another team that I'm not remembering. <laughs> Otherwise, we're really mean. We're making them use all their boost door points. <laughs> <laughs> we randomized to get their cash. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But that, even with a randomized lineup, the Blades are off to a great start against the Gohans. I mean, Bojack has been amazing this season. The Sword Trunks to do this well against them. I know, like, seriously, if you have the builds up, look at them. They're good. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually looking at them and going, like, wow, this actually looks like a competently put together, uh, like, team and lineup, and it looks fantastic. Uh, I mean, besides, like, not having a uh, savior on another character, I think this is one of the most solid freaking lineups I've seen. Mm. I'm impressed. I, I hope it works out for them. On the other hand, if you're the Gohans, you don't want to lose this because you'd be losing to a randomly, uh, not random build, but a it's random sorted? lineup. Yeah. Yes. Randomly okay. assorted team. This is a great chance for the Gohans to get another win. Though, they're 6 and 1. Uh, well, the Boos did just win, so if they want to stay too ahead of the Boos, they do need a victory here. You know, I'm surprised that the Blades didn't post a build. This, this is a divisional match. Like, maybe they didn't think they were going to win, and they, they might have actually slouched a bit, but. They at least put something out there for the original. I, I like, think, you want to get the I, odds up in that. I'm quite sure this has been more than once. There might be a problem with the team. Mm. Uh, but we'll have to look into it. If this continues to go on, we might be looking for a new coach. Because we don't want a team to be randomized the whole season. Yeah. Oh, gosh. 8,400 points of damage right there. But who knows? The coach might be having real life issues. Which we all know. Oh, yeah. Real life takes precedence to Bojack. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, 
So that being said, uh, if anybody does watch this and interested in participating, there are teams that are wanting. Oh my gosh, um, yes. Yeah. Uh, and, oh god, an ultimate? No, no. Not Dodge. quite. They're right on the edge of HP, both of them. Oh, oh now he goes. But still, I think for Sortron to do this well against Bojack is really well done. Yeah, especially since if Bojack did not transform, that would have been the end. Yeah, it would have. No, Tao tried to jump. Ah, uh, Hidden Blade! <laughs> Tao needs to stop him from tagging out if he wants to keep this an even match. Mm -hmm. Luckily for Tao, Cyborg Tao, Bojack does not seem interested in tagging. <laughs> Keeps knocking him away like nothing. Really annoying, gotta okay, say. Okay, Cyborg Tao, it was just an energy blast. I don't think he needed to be to it. <laughs> Must stop this energy ball! <laughs> Wow, seven, eight thousand five hundred 8,500 points of damage. Bojack sticking in there and doing really nice damage. It may be the AI um, Cyborg Tao has on. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. He has a, has a uh, TN AI on. Mm. And I don't think that's, that's a good thing for Tao. Maybe they really did test and that did actually work out a lot. But a lot of time that they sit there, they charge, they try to throw out B2s. Um, which is fat, so fine, but you it's a melee build. You try to make sure that the, the dude's aggressive. Right. Dota on Ray connects for 6,200 points of damage. I mean, yeah, it's great. Uh, TN builds are really for B2s and most especially ultimates. Um, and TN builds are fairly aggressive, but they're aggressive in that form of wanting to launch B2s. And I, 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 I like what Cyborg Tao is doing. He really is firing off a lot of B2s, but didn't you say he's a melee build? He is a straight up melee build. Hmm. He uh, attack up one, quick fast attack, launch support, serious, hmm. and power of rage. 8,000 points of damage right there from future Gohan. You want him to do charges like this so he can actually get into uh, uh, melee combos like that. Yeah. That he does do more clashes. Right now, he's a lot of his AI is trying to sit back and charge and throw out B2s. And, I mean, he's doing a nice job, but imagine if you, how much better he'd be doing if you had a build that complemented the AI, or vice versa. Hmm. And he dodged. Fantastic. Future Gohan, um, though, struggling against Cyborg Cow. Hidden Blade! Connects! That connects. That might actually finish it off. Hidden Blade is actually a really powerful move. Oh, not oh, quite. So 7,000 points of damage, yeah. But th but one more hit from him. One more little energy blast. Which oh my gosh. Which you might want to do. No, he's. this is the TN AI. He sits back and charges. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> bad choice there, Gohan. Bad choice. I think he charged too long. Well, special beam cannon takes a little while, even if you're not charging. Mm. Saiyan Man's got max power, though. Justice Slash, a bit overkill! Oh, oh, oh. no, that's fine. <laughs> oh, oh 9,000 points to the nuts. He can't lose. He's a cyborg. <laughs> I think he just lost. I think that counts as a loss. <laughs> I think Look, that's certainly a loss. He has balls of steel. He does. He had. <laughs> he had this powder of steel now. <laughs> yes. Did he just flush through that? What happened? No, he flew underneath it. It was mm. a little hard to tell. Be penitent. I don't think John Nimb is the one to tell that to you there, say, man. I don't think he cares. Well, at least we can talk about interesting AIs and builds and things like that. Mm -hmm. AIs are one of the most important things on a character. It, like, besides the Batars, which are really good and can actually make or break a character, the AI is probably that much more important. Well, I would the, say the, the best way to look at it is the AI is literally the glue that holds your build together. Yes. Um, the character's actions are probably the most important then you can work on actually giving him um, better stats and things like that. There are certain builds that actually do completely make a character. Um, the uh, Super Saiyan Goku um, in Earth Defenders is an excellent example of that. Um, but he's not going to do what you want him to do if you have to build on. Here's a good uh, analogy for you. Um, so if you think the Patars for a build are the different Power Rangers Zords, 
that fit together, you know, as the arms and legs and special abilities. The AI are the Power Rangers themselves driving the thing. Doesn't matter what kind of mastodon leg you've got if your pilot sucks. That is the nerdiest example I could ever think of. Congratulations. Also, <laughs> yes, thank, you're welcome. Thank you. But also the most apt, I think. You know what? Sure. I'll give you that one. <laughs> Down goes Sam, man. Janimba's been doing an amazing job so far. The Blaze might actually take this. It's all... It's, it's adult, uh, Team Gohan's the only one left on the Gohan's. I, I freeze it. Whoa. I didn't, I didn't know instant transmission actually uh, like blinded people like that. Wow. And that's, that's, that's going to be amazing. It's going to do a ton of damage. Mm. 19,000 points of damage. John Nim is not out of it yet, though. It's and good Tapio thing they have some defenses. It's, 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 it, John Nimba needs to stay alive. Tagging out is actually probably not a bad move. They need to keep that tag advantage against Team Gohan. Absolutely. Tapion's nice, especially if he if he does a bunch of B2 spamage. But, I mean, Team Gohan versus Janimba and Tapion, that's a fight. That is a straight-up fight right there. This, this is the last character of the Gohan? Yes, it is. Wow. Yeah, the, the blades have torn through the team, which is incredibly well done for them, especially given that their, their lineup was randomized. Huh. But, you know, a randomized lineup is a hurt. It definitely is. But as you said, the builds on them are solid. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. not good. They cannot let go. Oh, he's going to do a super coming. He can dodge this. Yes, he does. Oh, lucky. Tapion was very lucky there. And he still got his Absolutely. ultimate. Another super coming, Miha. Dodged again. These, like, Team Gohan is amazing. His beat, like, his normal attacks and things like that, they're probably pretty strong. Mm. He's a Super Saiyan 2. He's probably got some nice stats on him. But his freaking B2s, his charge rate, his ultimate are ridiculous. Indeed. I, I will say what makes a character is Super Kamehameha and uh, Father Son Kamehameha. That, the, his ultimate is a freaking cutscene one that does an amazing amount of damage. Mm. As well as his normal B2 costs two bars. Two freaking bars. It's like one of the lowest ones you can actually get in the entire game. And that thing is, like, does 8,000 damage probably base. Right. And it's almost instant. It's ridiculous. Brave Slash from Tapion connects! And and the Blades are doing it, despite how powerful Team Gohan is. The, the Blades, Father Son coming house, oh, probably not going to hit, though. No. Oh, it does. I thought he it was is. flying over him. No, this this is a cutscene attack. Yeah. Well, no, no, I thought Tapion had flown behind him, but he did. But Team Gohan turned around before he launched it. 21,000 points of damage. And believe it or not, the Blades still have the lead. They still have the tag ability, they still have the health. If they can keep Team Gohan from... And Team Gohan's in bad position right now. He's got a oh, charge oh. penalty. He doesn't have anywhere near the blast talks he needs to, to do Unforgivable. The Blades, and they're playing the tag game. Yeah, the Blades have an amazing chance for a victory here. Taking down the Gohans at the top of their division. Oh no, Team Gohan might actually still do this. Yeah, he See, might. If he, he, he's low on HP. He's Oh no. Oh, he blocks it! He still has energy. Yeah, but that, that he's impressive. not stunned. The, it, and John ja, Nimba can. Oh no, he's doing oh, a favorite game of No. Oh, John Nimba's best move right now would be to dodge or just tank that ultimate and hope Tapion can finish it off. He can probably dodge into this. Nope. Does not. But, but, that said, Tapion's got more health and more energy, and Team Gohan has a charge penalty. Tapion still has the advantage right now. Has a huge advantage. He better actually be aggressive before those blast stocks recharge. Indeed. That is a giant amount of charge that he has on that. He cannot, he has to end this now. He's gonna do it, and he does it! The Blades! With an, a surprising upset, taking down the Gohans. The Blades go up to three and five. The Gohans falling to six and two. This is a, a fantastic win for the Blades. Well done. Hey, next up.
freaking Rugrats versus Cold in the next episode, and Majins versus DB Warriors, another divisional match. This week is actually going to be full of them. It is going to be, and we're going to see you guys then. Ta-ta!